see, there is let there be no doubt that no project uh, would move forward unless the viability is established. Because after all, as far as the buyer, the consumer of electricity is concerned, he doesn't care whether it's coming from nuclear or solar or coal or whatever. So it has to be competitive. The issue is you want to move towards uh, a non-fossil world because you want to cut down the carbon footprint. See, whatever uh, INDCs different countries have uh, filed at the just before the Paris uh, meeting, uh, the net result of that is if you if all of them are fulfilled, even after that uh, the temperature rise is not going to be limited to 2 degrees, it will be more like 2.7, 2.8 uh, degrees Celsius. If you really want uh, bulk production uh, on 24 by 7 basis, then among non-fossil sources, nuclear is the only source. Energy waiver we have, uh, but uh, the, uh, the body that kind of defines the rules is NSG. And uh, you want to make sure that those rules uh, are consistent with Indian interests, uh, then it makes it necessary that you are on the table. And, and so uh, membership actually is, uh, is very important, even from that point of view. But leave that aside, I think Indian membership of NSG is also important from a variety of other angles.